Uh, now it's March 2020. Um, as you can see, the weather today is not as nice uh, compared to the last time we shot a video about solar panels. Uh, so we're not getting very many watts, but basically out here everything is the same. Uh, same old panels. I've connected them in series now to get a slight higher voltage. But I've made some modifications to the box and I've, perhaps we should take a look at those. I have to let my cameraman in here. Sorry. <laughs> so the box is also the same. It's currently connected to the solar panels. Uh, but I'd like to show you some, some small modifications that I've made. You probably um, remember the layout is basically the same. What is new is this little sucker. It's um, a Bluetooth connected transmitter that connects to the Renogy um, solar thingamajing. Uh, <laughs> and I can access this, this uh, via an app. So if we look here, here's the app reporting the current voltage, current and the number of watts. We got a whopping three watts today. Fantastic. And as you can see, the little box continuously sends data to the, the app. Um, it's just a nice way to monitor the, the system. It's for me, it's mostly for fun, um, but it's a cool add on. Um, yes, this is a, a second modifications that I've, that I've made to the box. These are called power studs. And they are basically two gigantic uh, brass connectors. Uh, so they're an external connection to uh, directly to the battery, or not directly. They go through a, a switch, which we'll look at later. But this is a way to get power uh, out from the box from the outside, or in if you wish. So you could connect it to external batteries if you like, and I think that's the primary use of those. Um, you might wonder where, you, where we got them. Uh, I think these particular products uh, were bought from a site that normally sells car parts. Yes, um, so there's a switch inside the box. And if you remember the last video, there was a different switch here, um, a different brand or I should say no brand. The, the old switch was bought from, I think, AliExpress or Wish. Um, it was pure crap. <laughs> so it broke after a while. And so I decided to buy something more sturdy. And this is a real quality switch from Blue Sea Systems. Um, and it also has several positions. And as you can see now, it's currently in position number one which means that uh, the battery is connected to the, the system itself. To turn the battery off, I do this, which switches the whole system off. So now the batteries are not connected. Uh, and as I mentioned, there's also a second uh, number two. So when this is set in number two, the batteries are connected, or I should say the, the charger is connected to these two power studs. But the internal batteries are still disconnected. And there's a fourth position, which is one and two, which means that the batteries inside the box are connected. And so are the, the two um, external power studs. So this means that you can use this system with external batteries, only external batteries and internal batteries, internal batteries only, or you can turn it off completely. Uh, but my, uh, my word of advice is don't buy cheap switches. <laughs> so it was quite a hassle to replace it when it broke. And basically what broke was poor quality plastic parts. So 
I'm really happy with this, this new quality switch. Um, well, let's move on to some of uh, some additions that I haven't added yet, but I might add later. For example, I've received a lot of questions regarding ventilation. So I've just put some parts that I bought but not used on display here. Uh, these two are ventilation grills or whatever you call it. I think they're mostly used in marine or home appliances. It's like a, it's like a grid and then there are some fins up front. There's a big sticker so I don't know if you can see it but they're just plastic things. I had an idea of uh, incorporating these one, maybe two, I don't know, uh, as the ventilation on the wooden lid. Haven't done it though yet. And I saw some questions on the on my YouTube channel. Don't you need ventilation and so forth? Well, so far I haven't needed it. Um, whenever I use the AC, which is very seldom, I normally keep the lid open. Uh, and the fan in the side inverter, it seldom starts. So no, ventilation is, is not a problem at the moment. Uh, then I thought I'd comment the relay. This is one of the biggest, uh, the bigger, the bigger type of relay that I use. This is the one that um, I use to connect the sine inverter to the um, the battery. Uh, it's um, rated to <clears throat> 200 amps. So what you do is the, the real powerful current goes between these two and then I use these two uh, routed through a switch to determine whether power should flow through these or not. So it's just a way to switch uh, high amp power using low amp power. And as you remember, um, the function on the box that does this is this switch. So when I, I flip this switch, these two are closed and then power can flow through these. Uh, the third thing is actually something that I bought very early on. It's just a, a small marine looking LED lamp. Um, there is no light in this box. Uh, it was just a, a, since I have electricity and since LED is so efficient, I just thought of mounting some lights in some way to, if I should ever need uh, some lighting on this dashboard, this could be a cool idea. I, I haven't added them though yet because it, it's just a, mainly an aesthetic detail and there's no real need for it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for all the great questions and comments from my previous video. Um, I just thought I'd keep you updated with some of the modifications that I've done to the original box. I would say that the, the building tempo uh, right now is uh, close to nothing. <laughs> uh, there's not really much to do anymore. It's, it's perfectly working. and. It's just a hobby project, so I don't use it for anything. I, I dragged it out into the garden and connected a, a garden tool here um, a couple of times uh, last summer. Worked great, um, but apart from that, it's just a, a fun box, basically. Uh, I also thought I'd comment about why do I build a box inside a box, and that's because one of the goals with this project was to make it weatherproof. So imagine if, if I would put all these switches and uh, meters and stuff, uh, if I would put them, drill them onto the lid here, they would be, ex be exposed to rain or whatever. And that's something that I wanted to avoid. So I built an extra box inside the box. So this is like uh, the control panel. And when I close the lid, it's weatherproof. And the same goes for, for all the connectors down here. They're also sort of weatherproof. I mean, they can take a bit of rain. Um, so that works. 
So if I if I ever want to leave this box outside in the rain with the panels connected, I can do that. Uh, I'm not sure I would, but anyway, it was one of the goals with the project. So thanks for watching, and uh, perhaps I'll post another video when I've made some more modifications. Bye bye.